Okay, welcome to another Race Tracker MX screencast. Today we're going to talk about adding bikes and adding riders and then linking those bikes to a rider so that we can uh, put them both into a race. So let's get started. We'll open, open the application. Wait for it to open. And there's our riders tab. We're going to add riders later on. But the first thing you want to do is go over here in the more tab, go to the bike list. And you see we have some already in there, but we want to add a new one. So go to the edit button in the upper right hand corner then come down and select the add a bike in the bottom row a window pops up and in here we'll type in the information and I guess we'll do a Kawasaki this time some type of serial number here uh, and we'll just make that up and we have the information and we hit uh, save after we get the information in there and you'll see that down here we have the new Kawasaki uh, added to the bottom of the list uh, we'll choose done we're only going to list one bike and there it is at the bottom and if we click on it what we'll see is that you see in the top here's your first four rows of the information you just put in and the, row, and the cells down below the sections of the table uh, contain settings different bike settings that you can use you can use some of these or you can add your own and delete these or keep some and, and do whatever combination you want whatever works for you but that's what you do to add a bike and if we go back out here you'll see that it's in the list now what we want to do is we want to add a rider for that bike. We come over here to the rider's uh, window, click the plus button, we'll give the rider a name. Uh, who do we have? Let's do a, uh, a David. Uh, we'll do his number, say, 25, age is 019, and let's say a class, he's a amateur for now and we hit save okay and David's on the top line and he's been added to the riders list um, what we can do now is click on David and we'll go to a detailed view of the rider is his number his age and his uh, class status if we want to edit any of these just click edit go in here and click on what item you want and this would be his name and you can update his name um, down here is age and so forth with the class standing he's an amateur so we'll leave him at that and the number is one that's just a little bit different and that's where you get to choose a plate color for the rider and this is done so that when you do in multiple riders at the same time you can have slight variations on the on the plate color so it's going to be easier to help you uh, track which uh, which row in the table that uh, um, and the timers that uh, actually is this rider so all you have to do is scroll down through this picker and pick a class and pick a, a plate for it and if you like that one you just have it selected or go to a different one so we'll go to the yellow and white trim one if you want to change his number just click in the field up above and the picker down below for the plates goes away and we can just back out and say he's actually 26 and if we're going to go back and change the plate just click into the check it flag area here in between the uh, input field and the in the keyboard and the keyboard goes away and the picker comes back so we've made those changes we hit save and we come back and we see his numbers change to 26 and we can hit done okay so now what we have is um, David 26 he's got a different plate color we'll see that when we go to a moto or heat race uh, and what we need to do is link to an existing bike. What you want to do here is link bikes that riders are going to race. And that way when you get to a, a motor, when you add a rider, you select the bike. Uh, some riders may have multiple bikes. They may run different classes. And this way you can uh, pick from a list that's specific to that rider and not have to go through a whole different bunch of bikes. So just click on link to an existing bike and you'll see a list of all the bikes that are available and he had the KX250 so we click on that and we now see that the KX250 is linked to David 
So that's his bike. Uh, it's going to show up when uh, you add him to a uh, when you go to select him for a moto or a heat race. Um, David will have the option of adding of riding this bike. The nice thing about this is if we click on the bike uh, link right now, this this row, we're going to go to the bike detail page, and this is where we can change settings. So what we've done instead of having to go and go over here to the more tab and let's see this would be the more tab start go to the bike list you know find the uh, the Kawasaki and then uh, click in here and bury and, and digging down into this list here you can just go to the rider go to the riders list up front select David and one click you're right into editing uh, the bike um, parameters and if you want to do editing bike parameters this is how you do it just select uh, the bike hit edit okay and we have stuff that we can delete if we're not going to use it you just hit delete or if you want to rearrange things just drag them around and put them in the order that you want uh, if you want to add an item to a bike a bike setting then just go to the section of the bike that you think you're gonna uh, need to uh, add uh, items to and say in the rear end and select uh, add rear end setup add your new item sag say it's 95 millimeters hit save and it's down here at the bottom so we've just added that if you want to rearrange that bring it back up and if you drag it up too far it won't let you drag it into that next column it's going to stay right there so okay so you can drag it but you can't change sections it's going to stay right in there if I try and go down here it's going to go back so let's just get rid of sag for now leave everything the way it was and then you're done so what we've shown you so far in this is how to add a bike and add a rider and then link your bike to a rider and if we need to link another bike the option is no longer here because we have one in the list let's just hit edit and you'll see that link to an existing bike shows up again if we click it we get the list this time the KX is not in there because we already have it in the list already so you can't duplicate it that way um, if we go down below you can see right here under David in the rider detail we can actually add a new bike from here too and not have to go over here to the list so once you feel comfortable with understanding what the list does we give you the option right here to just add go right in and add a new bike but we'll just cancel that for now so that's adding a, a bike adding a rider and then linking the bike to the rider so it's available and let's go over just one more thing we'll go to Southwick and the races again look at this edit add rider bike and now David is there and the KX is his option you hit Jeff and he's on the uh, KTM but David only has the linked KX so that's what he's going to be riding as a Kawasaki if you had more options more bikes he was riding more classes then you'd have several bikes to choose from. So that's how that um, part of uh, Racetracker MX works. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Next time we'll be talking about how to add a track and um, then load those tracks into uh, an actual race. See you next time.